Right, I've got it queued up to the beginning of Susanna Gal. Here's the tuning. A, D, A, E. And it's a little sharp of standard. And uh, let's see, I'll just start from, we're starting from the beginning of the video. You're gonna hear it three different ways. He, he starts it off. Never plays it like that again, but makes a nice variation. And then after that, he does the standard one. And one thing to notice is that those are the bo both the same bowing. So down, up, down, up, up. So it's the kind of standard Tommy Jarrell syncopated shuffle, sometimes people call it. So down, up, up, down, up, like that. And then uh, finally, when the A repeats, he'll go. Just a straight shuffle on a D chord. So here we go. So there's that first little variation. So the thing to notice here is that. Um, towards the end of that phrase, he's crossing strings on an upstroke, and that's because he's using another of his common bow strokes, which is um, just going one beat down and three beats up. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like that, instead of going one, two, three, four. So it's so. And then here it comes. So. So down, up, down. So those three notes are slurred on the on the upstroke and they cross strings. That's one of the oddest parts, but it feels really natural um, once you get it up and running. So he follows that with a uh, just a normal shuffle. So we've got then so uh, so let's see. Let's start it from here. So you've basically got two just straight shuffles there. And then another of those short down, long up. And then so all together it's And on this part, if you go back and listen to it, we'll see it again too. He um, shakes the bow at the very end. So, like that. It's just a, a little scratch. Um, I guess if you were to slow it down and make it into notes, it would sound something like. Like that, but um, you're not really thinking of it like that. You're thinking of it as a melody with a scratch on top and not worrying about making it into notes, I think is probably the better way to do it. Or you can just forget about it and uh, it still comes out just fine. So whether you go like that, or they both end up on the upstroke. So it's not like it's going to ruin the bowing pattern or anything. Uh, comes out just the same either way. And that one, there's a really distinct bow shake at the end. And he's kind of 
rocking at the same time. Um, so that one he started with the standard. That's how it ends. And then second time through the A part. So that's the variation. Just two shuffles like that. just ends with a normal so um, he walks up to the D always in this situation through it usually hits the open D drone strings on a big upstroke so also the rhythm is really um, it's really typical you can hear it when it's slowed down it's kind of um, jagged it's I'm sort of exaggerating it but it's not even um, Sort of like that. And that one had a really distinct bow, bow shake in it. Slowing it down. the end of the A he'll just do a standard bow rock very very strongly though to really punctuate the end of the phrase like that all right uh, maybe I'll play along with the second time through and then the first time through um, the next part just so you can see the bows working together mm -hmm. 